Republican from here. What pathetic red state are you fucking talking from? Cause don't be dogging on my California. I mean, I already pay for your shit. You're gonna be $50 billion a year and I only get back 70%? <laughs> you motherfuckers, what? Pay whatever taxes you pay to the federal government, get back what? 110, 120%? That's my money. Shake it. Don't break it. Shake it. Good evening, California. Shankar Singh I'm here with Cal Exit, uh, California Nationalist First. Um, Cal Exit, of course, uh, to happen. Guys, tons of Cal Exit groups are popping up all over the state, up and down the state. Cal Exit as a movement is also growing right now. Recent poll released from Fox News and CNBC. Uh, so you have the right and the left coming out here with their polls. One in three Californians now support a independence move. Guys, we are growing and we are growing huge. Now, could that be from the women's march that just happened? Uh, this last weekend, could it be from the Governor Brown's State of the State speech? Could it be from uh, Donald Trump just being Donald Trump? Um, whatever it is, I think it's Donald Trump. Uh, it's working because, uh, guys, uh, uh, Cal Exit is growing in leaps and bounds. In fact, uh, there's so many groups popping up right now. If you want to message me to find out the, a group in your county, go ahead and message me down there. Leave a comment down there. I'll put you in touch with any county leaders that you want. Um, I do know every, almost every single one of them in the state. I have been in contact with them, but they have contacted me. So if you want to get, get a hold of a Cal Exit group, now that when I say Cal Exit group, I'm talking either a, a, a political action committee or a PAC or even a political party. The largest political party right now is California National Party, guys. I'm going to give you their, set up their link down below and tell you more about their party in a little bit. But first, I want to touch base on uh, the governor. Oh my God, I love this man. President Brown. I'm calling him President Brown. Uh, great governor outlined exactly why we are California and why we have our policies the way we do, because I don't think the rest of the country really understands it too much. So I'm just going to play a little bit of it for you, just a couple minutes here. Uh, this is his state of the state. Uh, give it a listen. Yes, we reflect on the state of our state. We should do so in the much broader context of our country and the challenges it faces. We must prepare for very uncertain times and reaffirm the basic principles that have made California the great exception that it is. First, in California, immigrants are an integral part of who we are and what we become. help create the wealth and the dynamism of this state from the very beginning. I recognize that under the Constitution, federal law is supreme and that Washington determines immigration policy. But as a state, we can and we've had and we have played our important role. California has enacted several protective measures for the undocumented. The Trust Act, the driver's licenses, basic employment rights, and non-discriminatory access to higher education. This is what made the dreamers, and you made it happen. That's right. That's right. Um, all of those laws is what makes California a success. A success. And then, uh, how you say, how you say. Okay, well, guys, I'm going to try to explain it to you in real simple terms. This is for the conservatives out there that, that believe in alternative facts, whatever that is. I'm not sure it is. But here, I'm going to give you facts, and then you try to put it together logically, okay? Use it logically and put it together. Now, why do we have so many immigrants here? Well, because they do the jobs that you will not do, okay? And why? Why do they do those jobs? Well, guys, it comes down to self-worth. And coming from a third world country, they are starving and hungry. They will do anything. They have a little bit of money to eat, okay? So their self-worth is down here. Now, us as um, citizens of this country here, we are we put our self-worth a little higher than that, okay? So there's some jobs that you and I will not do. We will not work in fast food restaurants unless you're 18 years old. We won't clean motel hotel rooms. We won't uh, pick produce at a local farm. Now, if you were to do those jobs, how much do you want an hour, um, Billy Bob out in Arkansas? How much do you want an hour to clean a hotel room in downtown LA, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dude from Alabama? Please tell me what your price is worth an hour, okay? Because whatever that price is to go pick uh, fruit and, and vegetables from the farm, Please tell me what that, that hourly rate is, and I will guarantee you that your food bill, your Joe and uh, Joe and Mary in the middle of America, their grocery bill is going to go up. 
So, you want us to shut down our immigration? We will, fine. And we will hire Americans and pay them $15 an hour to pick your food, which a third of it comes from this state. Um, just be prepared for your grocery bill to go up, okay? Now, you want your grocery bill to stay where it is? Maybe you should be for immigration instead of against it. Now, I don't know if I explained that clearly enough. I don't know if I need to show you another example besides the grocery bill, maybe travel bills or vacation bills or, um, I don't know, do you like fast food? Think about it, okay? You wanna keep prices low, this is the way to do it and you need to open an immigration policy because people's self-worth starts out low in this country. Now, after a while, these immigrants, they stay here, their self-worth goes up, they won't do those jobs much, they'll want more money or they get a different job, which is great which is great, guys. That's the next wave that needs to come in of immigrants to fulfill those jobs, okay? Not sure if you can understand that at all. In fact, uh, Trump uh, uh, was, <laughs> Trump, Brown was fighting Trump the whole way. In fact, uh, he's about to, uh, Trump is about to attack our sanctuary cities. Come at us, come at us. You're not touching anybody on this state. Um, sorry, if you send uh, ICE down, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't think that's going to happen because, uh, uh, one, we have um, a lot of Californians, not military, not law enforcement, Californians that won't stand for that. And uh, if it means, you know, ICE, you know, Immigration Customs having to shoot us violently, I think the state's prepared to do that, get killed for it, because we depend on immigrants. And um, it's a hard concept for you to understand. I'm sure all of you want to see dead Mexicans here because they're all rapists and murderers, as you guys believe. But uh, we'll see what happens. Come and uh, enact your sanction, take away our, our, what, our funding for our sanctuary cities. I don't know how Trump is going to go about doing that, but however he does it, we will fight it. And we will fight it legally and we will fight it nonviolently. Okay? Um, the one thing that Governor Brown did uh, uh, cheer the, the uh, Trump about was uh, infrastructure. Trump did propose a trillion dollar infrastructure spending bill which we love we want that now i think uh brown is being a little naive in that i don't think he's going to get be getting some of that money but i don't think trump is going to be giving california much money that money at all um we do need that infrastructure money as you know um uh, uh more robust in infrastructure that's a less tax reliability uh less we're relying on taxes um so it'll, and overall it'll, it'll bring down our tax right now we're taxed a lot we're losing 90 billion dollars a year by paying our federal income tax we give $380 billion a year, we get back $290 billion in subsidies. We're losing 90 every year. So um, that is a losing game for California, which is the main reason why CalExit is around. We're losing money every year. So we wanna keep some of that money and invest it into our infrastructure because as, as the infrastructure grows and we're making new innovations on it, um, that's people putting people to work. And once that inf infrastructure is growing, that's less reliance on our taxes. Our taxes will go way down. It will go lower. Right now they're high because of their federal income tax, which we do not want to pay. Um, so again, infrastructure, Trump, give it to us. Give it to us right now. I, I, I dare Trump to give us uh, the money for the infrastructure. And if you hear Governor Brown's speech, he says the same thing. He's like, come on, man, give it to us. He's not gonna give us money for infrastructure. Trump hits where it hurts and he's a, he's a low blower. So um, he's a low blower. Uh, and I didn't mean in any pussy grabbing uh, in, in pussy grabbing context either. Uh, guys, Cal Exit Groups, yeah, they are growing. Uh, if you guys are interested in joining a Cal Exit Group, either a political party or a polit political action committee here in California, go ahead and message me. Tell me where, what county you're from and I'll put you in touch with uh, the county leader. I do know all of them in the state. Um, the biggest and largest one that's growing the fastest is the California National Party. Guys, their email, their website is californianational.party. That's California National dot party okay not dot com not dot net dot us dot whatever it's dot party california national dot party um i know jed wheeler he's the chair of the of the party great guy um they are except their numbers are growing they are in the thousands and thousands so um change your affiliation from democrat and republican to california national party join the cnp because guess what after independence guys no more republican no more democrats if you want that money in politics do not be Republican, do not be Democrat. New parties are gonna be forming after independence, guys. So um, try to find your conservative party, try to find your uh, uh, progressive party. They are both emerging right now, okay? Guys, that's all I've got for you tonight. Um, 
Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great night and a awesome tomorrow, okay? Good night, guys.